All right, cool. So there's some basic channel functions. Uh, hopefully that will get you off and running. Um, there's some other things you need to do when you're typically mixing, like monitor mixes. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to go to bus one through eight. Let's say they need some, uh, some more vocals in the floor monitor. So we know this is our floor monitor bus. And in order to affect that uh, and start making those changes, there's no longer knobs on every channel like the auxiliary sends on the old analog board. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here and hit sends on fader. Boom. You'll see that start blinking. If that's blinking at you, you know that you are now mixing for a bus, a mix bus. And then I'm going to hit select on whichever mix bus I want to uh, start mixing for. So in this case, the floor monitor, I'm going to hit select. There we go. And so now the mixer becomes a mixer for just the floor monitors. So I'm going to go up. See, they needed some more, some more vocals in the floor monitor. So I'm going to turn those up, you know, make my adjustments. Same thing if they want some more guitar in the monitor. Turn it up there. Cool. All right. I've made my adjustments. They said, hey, it sounds good. Thank you. So I'm done with that. I'm going to make sure I press this button again to turn off sends on fader because if you don't, uh, if you forget to do that and then you think you're making a change for the house mix uh, on the mains and you're actually adjusting the, <laughs> adjusting the monitor inadvertently. So whenever you're done making a monitor adjustment, Click that and it goes back to, so I'm going to click it on. It's the, now the mixer for the floor monitor, or if I want to adjust the choir monitor, I'll hit select on the choir monitor and it becomes the mixer for the choir monitor. All right. Mixer for the floor monitor, mixer for the house, mixer for the floor monitor, mixer for the house. Cool. The same thing applies to all the buses. So uh, this also applies to the live stream. When you're checking the live stream mix, I'm going to hit sends on fader. Boob, and then I'm going to hit on broadcast. That's what we're calling it. Hit select, and now it is the mixer for the live broadcast. Going to the stream, going to the CD recorder. So if I'm listening to my headphones, so I would put these on if I'm running in front of house and mixing the uh, the mix. I put these on. I'm going to hit solo on the broadcast that sends the uh, broadcast feed or whatever you hit solo to. That sends it to the headphones. So I'm hitting that. Boom, and now I'm gonna make my adjustments. My sins are on fader. I've selected broadcast, I'm soloed so I can listen to it. I make my adjustments. Whatever adjustments you make, that's what's going to the live stream. Um, also, if you'll notice, I've got the live room mic going to this, the live stream as well. So once I'm done, hey, I'm done making my changes. Sins on fader, so that I am now back to mixing for the house. Super cool, that's really uh, basic. These are overall volumes for it, so if the overall volume go into the stream is too much and bring it down, I'm typically gonna leave it there though. Same thing for these. Um, yep, same thing for all these buses. Like I said, fill, uh, ears, clean ears. These other mixed buses, they should be doing it themselves, and I'll show you. Um, and another cool thing you can do, I highly recommend using your iPad or your tablet, going up on the stage and mixing your floor monitor from there. We'll show you how to get connected real quick um, so that you can go do that.